Okay, so final thoughts. Uh, so I've calculated this because I didn't have a space. I want to remain that as a single page or tutorials. So we have learned how to calculate T. We have learned how to calculate XOR them using the XOR table. And so here's what we have calculated previously. W4, W5, and these are rotated down. I calculated them separately. So W6, W7. So how does your round key looks like? You're going to pick up your W4, you're going to write it as is. You're going to pick up your W5, you're going to write that as is. You're going to take your W6, same procedure for W6 and 7, just like we did it for W5. T is only required when you have multiples of 4. That's the that's the only way you will you will fulfill this condition, which is condition number 2 right here. So, so this is your W6 and this is the value of W7. So when you pick up this value as is, as being this being the low, uh, 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 a half uh, four bits, I mean the least significant hex number, and this is going to be most significant hex number. So this is going to be your round one key, which you're going to, I think, whatever the process was, I, I forgot, uh, you're going to XOR bit after whatever the mixed column value that you got. So you're going to XOR these 128 bits with that key. So this should be the round key for round number one and for round number two you're going to do exactly the same thing you're going to pick up your i or you're going to take your i because w7 is done the next value is w8 so 8 mod 4 is 0 you're going to calculate your w uh, 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 you're going to calculate your t values using this same procedure that i showed you and then you're going to xor it then for the rest of the other values which are not multiples of four you're just going to simply XOR them with the previous value. So actually, you don't need this diagram. This diagram is to, exp uh, to explain what's going on. Uh, so using a single master key, which is being shared between user and uh, sender and receiver, you're going to generate in AES, you're going to generate 10 individual keys. And this is the process and this is the mathematical process to actually compute that key. Uh, so I hope you like this small tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in a comment section. I'll be soon uploading my these the things that I work on onto a website. I'll leave a link, I think, in future. And if you have any questions, please leave it in a comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.